Okay, this video is going to be about Newton's method, and what Newton's method uh, tries to do is it tries to find roots of, of functions. So this is the basic formula for it, so let's maybe just do an example um, on how it works. Okay, so the idea is, okay, so we're going to just do two iterations of Newton's method, uh, so we're going to kind of run through this twice. So notice with the function f of x equals x squared minus 8, if you plug in um, the number 3, you would get 3 squared, which is 9. 9 minus 8 would be 1. And hey, 1 is pretty close to 0. So 3 is not a root, but it's pretty close to being 1. Okay, so this is going to be our first guess. So we've kind of got our generic formula up here. It says one thing we're going to have to do is we're also going to have to compute the derivative because that gets used in the uh, denominator. So f prime of x would just be 2x in this case, so that's not too bad. So okay, so we've got x sub 1. It says to get to the next one, so x sub 2. So my next guess, okay, so my x sub 2, it says you take the previous one, which is x sub 1, and then we subtract away, well, we plug x1 into the function, and then we plug also x1 into the derivative. We take that ratio and we subtract it. So, all right, I'm going to plug, uh, I'm going to evaluate all of these things. So, I know that x sub 1, that's 3. Well, if I plug um, x sub 1 into my function, again, we would just get 3 squared minus 8. If I plug my point into the derivative, okay, I would get 2 times 3. And let's see, so this is going to be 3 minus, okay, so we said 9 minus 8, that's 1 over 6. I'm going to keep this as a fraction. Um, so we could multiply top and bottom by 1, so that would give us 18 over 6, minus 1 over 6, so that would give us 17 over 6, and that would be our second guess. Okay, so our x sub 2 value is going to equal 17 over 6. Okay, so our first guess was the number 3. Um, notice, let's see, I guess, uh, so 17 over 6 is now just a little bit less than 3. So that was one iteration, and now we're just going to go back and do it all over again. Um, but now we're just going to sort of update this formula using our new number, 17 over 6. Okay, so it says to get our third guess, that would be the second guess minus our second guess plugged into our function, and then divided by our second guess plugged into the derivative. But again, we figured out what our uh, x sub 2 value is. So it says x sub 3 is going to be 17 over 6 minus, okay, we're going to have to plug 17 over 6 into our function, our starting function, so we would have to square it and then subtract 8. So a little, you know, this is what's going to happen, obviously. You're going to start getting lots of decimals and uh, fractions or whatever, so uh, be consider yourself warned, I guess. In the denominator, we would have to take, uh, we would have to plug in 17 over 6 in, into our derivative, so we would get 2 times 17 over 6. And now, um, again, we could just simplify this down. So now I am, since this is my last one, I think I am going to start approximating. Um, you know, if you approximate over and over and over and over, obviously you're going to accumulate some round off error, so just something to be aware of. Um, so let's see. 17 over 6, I'm going to approximate that with um, 2.833. So that's what I'm going to plug in here and square it. I'm going to take 2.833 and I'm going to square it. And that's giving me 8.02. Um, let's round that off to 6. And then minus 8. And then in the denominator, uh, we would have 34 over 6. And I'm getting uh, basically 5.667 for that. So I'm going to keep uh, keep simplifying this down. So 2.833. So let's see if we do uh, so 8.026 minus 8 is just going to be 0 0.026 in our numerator. So 0 0.026. If we divide that by 5.667, we're going to get 0 0.004. 6 after rounding, so um, I probably should just keep three decimal places, I guess, since I, that's what I've been doing. 
So let me approximate this a little bit more, make it 2.833 minus 0 0.005. Um, so now, last but not least, 2.833 minus point, uh, I think I hit that wrong, so I really shouldn't need a calculator for this, 2.833 minus point zero zero five. Uh, whew, hey, that's going to give us 2.828. Okay, so that would be um, our, we've done two iterations and we've got to our third guess. So the first guess, you're just kind of guessing. There's nothing you have to do for that. So that's why there's sort of no iteration involved. And let's even check to see how close our, uh, our second guess is. Because again, we're trying to plug it into the function and get the number zero out at the end. So if we do plug in, um, I'm just kind of curious, 2.828. If we plug that in and, and we take that number and we square it and then subtract 8, let's see how close we are. So 2.28 uh, squared, hey, that's uh, I'm getting 7.998 after rounding, minus 8. So that's going to be certainly pretty close, negative 0.002. Um, so hey, notice we have done this a couple times. We're plugging in some number, and we're not exactly at 0, but we're getting pretty darn close to it, and we've only done this iteration twice. So, um, kind of a neat little method. Uh, again, there's definitely issues with Newton's method. It does not always work, so it's something you have to be aware of. It can sometimes take you far, far away from a solution. So, um, and uh, at some point we'll look at an example as to kind of what can go wrong. So, again, the idea with Newton's method is somehow you're using tangent lines, uh, to kind of find approximations to your new solutions. So sometimes those tangent lines can take you off in weird places.